We're playing Hunter Call of the Wild, and in this video, I'm hunting down every buffalo in the game. And we're starting off in Africa with some Cape Buffalo, the second largest animal in the game. We got that big red one that definitely seems to be the leader of the pack. We're gonna try to get him. Looks like they're on the move, though. We're gonna have to get out in front of them. Loaded up, rifle of choice. It's my 470 Nitro Express. This thing is a Tonka. However, it only shoots two at a time. So you better not miss. Yeah, we're gonna have to get closer to these guys. They're on their way out of here. The 470 is super powerful powerful but it's really not that good at range so we're gonna have to get closer we really don't have any other option fortunately for us though i believe they're about to stop they should be going right over there to the river to start drinking oh snap oh snap oh snap oh snap he found me he found me he found me oh gosh oh i missed it no way oh gosh reload dude reload dude reload dude oh gosh dude i didn't even get time to hunt him oh he found me this ain't even the one i'm hunting i gotta make a good shot that should have been a good shot. All right, that's the one thing about this old rig. It stinking kills when you hit the right spot. Yeah, dude, the herd I was chasing is up here in front of me. I'm sure they've ran away. Nope, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. All right, looks like we're gonna get a two for one. Go ahead and put two in him. That should be good. Reload, he should be going down quick. He's down. He's down. Okay, we got two of them down. With these Cape Buffalo, dude, they are so deadly. Not just in the game. In real life, they're just as deadly. And while I'm waiting right here to see if any more buffalo charge me, let's go over a list of all the buffalo we're going to be hunting. The Cape Buffaloes of Africa. The Water Buffalo of South America. The Bing Ting of Australia. The Plains Bison of the Rocky Mountains. The European Bison of Europe. And yeah, that's it. That is the five buffalo species we're going after. Well, there we go. We got Africa's Cape Buffalo marked off the list. Let's claim these. Then we're moving on to location number two. And I'm gonna show you exactly what guns I want to be using during this challenge. This dude was a gold. And the crazy thing is I'm pretty sure that that big red one was even bigger. That second shot was perfect straight through the lungs. With this particular gun, you put him straight through the lungs, he's going down pretty soon. The first one with a flesh barely even hit him. Luckily, this thing's got two shots. The thing about this one over here is I think I missed the first shot and only hit him once. Yeah, I did. I missed him completely that first shot. Luckily, I made up for it on the second shot and put it straight through both lungs and his heart. When this gun hits something, it does not stop penetrating. It keeps on going. I'ma say we go over here to Europe and see if we can't find us a European bison. Something that I really don't know if I've ever killed before. This could be interesting. But of course, before we do that, let's go on over here to the weapons and let's pick out some stuff capable of killing these things. Cause as you may or may not know, the bison and buffalo are the top tier. They are level nine, meaning they're the biggest animal in the game. You gotta have the biggest gun in the and kill him. So of course we have this, the 470 Zenith. This is a real gun that's really deadly, but it's not your only option. Another option I would like to try on this challenge is gonna be a bow and arrow. So we're gonna pack this one with the biggest arrow they have and a range finding sight so I can put the arrow right where I want it. Let's take the 4570, especially the way I got it rigged up. Check this out. This is my 4570. It looks pretty good, or at least I think so. I think I think it looks kinda cool. It may not be, but guess what? It can kill a buffalo, so it's pretty good to me. 290 for a cosmetic pack? How about no? I'll find something that's free. Should have a lot of really fun opportunities here, but now our objective is simple, and that is to find European bison on a map I've never killed European bison. Difficulty, very hard to kill these things. Very good sense of smell. They get aggressive when you're up close, and they prefer to live in forests with a lot of undergrowth, which is gonna make them kind of hard to find because you gotta be right on top of them before you can even see them, and that means they could be aggressive. I'm using the bathroom. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I just did some research on where the European bison are on this map. I don't have hardly any of this map unlocked, but it seems like most of the bison are actually here on the west side of the map. So I've marked a location over here by this lake, and we are going to have to hop on an ATV to get there. Whenever I said I've never done this before, I've hardly even hunted on this map. This should be interesting, though. Hopefully, we can get a European bison out of this. Insert copyright free Braden Price theme song. Yes, let's go. All right, there's an outpost. We needed this. We needed this as a home base in case we get killed or something, we can respawn. Our first Western outpost of this entire map. Now we can use this as a home base to hunt this entire lake. 
Now let's go to the lake and see what we can see. All right guys, well, we didn't spot a bison, but we did spot a fallow deer. It's about 200 yards away. I'm gonna say, hey boys, let's take the shot. Let's see if we can zero this thing in. I have to hold a little bit high, but I'd say I can take it. At least get us some meat on the ground, you know? All right, dropped him. That's pretty good. Ain't gonna ma ain't mad about that one. We ain't been seeing no bison? Apparently it is their drink time and they do drink at this lake. So I guess let's just keep walking the bank and keep on a looking. Surely or later we're gonna run into them, right? I don't know. That's what we're gonna have to hope for. If we don't see any pretty soon though, I say we bounce and go for a different bison and we can come back here later. Right there's our fallow deer though. He's not a big one, but he's a good one. He's a silver heart shot too. Put him straight down. Cool. I don't know how much more time I wanna spend right here looking for an animal that I've never actually seen before. We may move on, come back here later. And we've moved on to the Rocky Mountains because we are going after Plains Bison. They look kind of similar to the European Bison, but that's about all I know. I do know that these guys do travel in very large herds and it should be about their drink time. So we're gonna look around water and see if we can't see them. The good thing about these guys is that their vitals are massive and they're really not that hard to kill. I accidentally just walked up on some bison. I think they're down here drinking, but I think they seen me way before I seen them, which could be a problem. If I can make it into that stand, it might make too much noise. I just need to get a spot on them. Yeah, they know I'm here. They know I'm here. All right, I gotta go prone, and we're gonna see if we can get into that thing. If we can get into that thing, I know we can kill them. Let's see where they are. There's one, it's attentive. There's one, it's calm. All right, they're both calm now. All right, looks like there's three of them actually. We gotta stay low. Our wind is good and they can't see that well. Oh, well, there might be four of them. I think there is four of them. No, there's five. And that's the one we need to go after too. Right now he's 80 yards away. He's nervous, we gotta wait. That's the one we wanna get, but he's nervous. We don't really wanna take any chances right here. 75 yards away. Dude, I'ma say this, I'd say if we got a good shot, I'd say we try to take it. I'ma say let's get down, go to this bush. This is gonna be a really nice shot if we can get up on him and do this. And I think we can too. I think we can. I think we're in a good spot. We got a good arrow, good bow. We got a really good sight so that we can hit it right where we want it. Good wind direction, good everything. We just got to get in there and make this shot happen. Let me look through the binoculars, make sure he's still there. Make sure I know which one I'm shooting. This one right here in the front. Yep, this one right here. I got a sliver. I'm going to send it. He's still nervous, but he'll, he won't be nervous after this arrow hits him. He won't have time to be nervous about it. Here we go. Heart shot. Hurry, big gun, big gun. Let's put them down, put them down, put them down. Hurry, we're trying to make money here. Make some money real quick. That one should have been perfect, he's going down. Ain't gotta worry about him, do we? Uh-uh, no sir, he's down. Did we just wipe out the whole herd? I'm pretty sure there was five of them, and I think we got five sitting right here. Oh, I think we just wiped out the whole herd. These bullets are expensive for this rig too. I think they're like 250 bucks each. If you start missing with this gun, you're losing money. But there we go, Plains Bison off the list. We stacked them right here, dude. I ain't even gonna say nothing, dude. We stacked them. We made 900 bucks, which is good. Made some money on that one. Whenever you start shooting them twice, that's when you start losing money. And about 900 bucks, we'll take it. I'm surprised none of these charged us. I think this one I shot with a bow and yeah, went straight through every organ in its body. That's the one I thought was gonna go aggressive, but it just it just ran away. It didn't go aggressive or anything. Then we got this guy, which I believe is a heart shot. Yep, it was a heart shot. Barely, this was a silver. We made a thousand bucks off that. Pretty solid, and I believe we got our arrow back. There we go, guys. I'm pretty familiar with the Cape Buffalo, and I'm super familiar with these Plains Bison. That's why I was able to show up, go to the right spot, kill them. Now we're moving on to the next one, which is actually gonna be a Bing Tang, and they are located way down here in Australia. I have the golden spot to go for those two. We're walking straight in on them at the perfect time, and I'll put an arrow straight through the heart. Let's do it. I've hunted these Bing Tangs a good little bit. They're one of my favorite animals in the game to hunt, but I know that we need to go right down here, and we need to go about 10 o'clock, which guess what? I know you guys can't see the time, but it's literally 9.59. We're showing up perfect timing. Let's kill some bang tang. All right, we got some straight in front of about 200 yards. All right, they're going away from us, but they should lay down soon. What we don't want them to do is get our scent. So we're actually gonna move with them just to make sure that none of them get our scent. 
We want the big black one. The red ones are females, so we want the dark one. Here we got a red fox. This red fox knows we're here, but too bad for the red fox. We ain't got time to wait on him. If they keep moving at this pace, we may have to shoot them, but I don't think they will. I think they're gonna stop pretty soon, but they, they are just speeding up, so they're fleeing. What? How are they fleeing? Is that a different one? Wait, they, they seen me. They seen something. Oh no, that's not good. They knew I was here. These dudes are pretty smart. And I don't even think they smelled me. I think they just knew I, they seen me or something. Well, guys, I claimed that I had a good spot. I didn't claim I was going to kill him instantly. Okay? So, I got, a, I got a good spot. I know that. It's just, I don't know. They're smarter than me, I guess. There he is. Is that him? That's not him. It's a different one, but we'll take him. He's alone, too, which should make it a lot easier on us. He's not as big as the last one, but he's big enough to shoot. I know that. 160 yards away. We'll probably stop moving right here in a second and wait for him to get closer. Oh, well, he's moving quicker. Is he stopped? Is he about to lay down? Mating call? All right. So he's not alerted. He's comfortable. Yeah, we can take this guy. He's all alone. He ain't got nobody behind him. No, okay, there he is. He got under us. We're going to have to just send an arrow. I don't think he's going to wait around for us. We're just going to have to send it. Oh, we hit him. He went aggressive, but I don't think he's going to make it here. I think he's going down right now. He's down. That was kind of crazy. He was moving. He was getting gone. That wasn't what we was wanting to happen. We was wanting him to get right in close, but... Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Hurry, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Shoot him with the third... Shoot him with the 45. Shoot him with the 45. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That ought to do something. Oh, that's another good one. Shoot him right where it matters. Well, shoot, dude, three shots. I figured he'd die. That is one downside to the 4570. It only holds three. They're the, one of the other lever actions, it holds like six, but it's just not big enough. Let's see, this guy, straight through every bone he had, pretty lethal shot. He went down really quick. As for this other guy, I don't know if he went down or not. By golly, he took my whole magazine and still running. We'll see, though. We'll see. Anyway, Bing Tang off the list. We got the European bison and then the water buffalo of South America. The water buffalo is actually the biggest animal in the entire game. And in turn, they can be the deadliest because they are huge. And when they hit you, they hurt. This old boy ain't dying. <laughs> I figured 34570s, he'd be going down no matter what. But, I mean, he's a trooper. He's a trooper. He's staying alive, you know? Is that, should be him right there, is it? Yeah, that's him. All right, we got him. He, tr he ran right up this hill, which is weird, but you know, I guess they do that. He is a bull. Yep, 1,400 pounds. We hit him a bad shot, bad shot, bad shot. Okay, okay, maybe I understand why we didn't kill him, but we'll take it. Bing Tang off the list. Let's go back to Europe. Let's see if we can find a European bison. <laughs> Yo, yo, I just spotted one. I was just wa endlessly walking this lake, and then I came face to face with one. There he is, there he is. Gosh, son, I ain't even seen nothing like that. The wind is in our favor. I say we take the high ground, work on the high side of this cliff. Let's see if we can get pretty close. We may be able to get him in bow range, baby. Let's see what we can do. All right, there he is. He's locked in. Oh no, he's not alone. He's not alone. I've never even seen one of these things. I could probably weave an arrow through there, but I would like to get closer if I could. All right, we officially cannot see the bison anymore, and we kind of just got to hope for the best. I really hope this isn't a bad idea. We do not want to lose this guy. I've spent way too much time chasing after just one of them, and I finally found him. I don't want to mess up this opportunity. There's another bison. I don't think he's as big, though. Oh, my gosh, there's a lot of them. Guys, this is crazy. We're 30 yards from his rear end. I technically probably could take that and get a vital because my arrows do penetrate so far. I might just take that shot. A legit Texas heart shot. There's another one right there and another one right there. So we got two right here. I think we're going to try it. A legitimate Texas heart shot. Here we go, boys. A legitimate Texas heart shot through the back, out the front. Here we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right, that one got him. He's down, he's down. Now that's the next biggest one. Oh, he's running, they're running. We wanna make sure none of them go crazy. Just in case they do, I'm pulling out our new gun. I'm shooting him. That was a spine shot. I don't know if he's going down or not. Reload just in case. 
All right, boys, that was pretty crazy. A legit Texas heart shot, but I don't think I got the heart shot right. I think I just got a Texas, you know what I mean? Either way, the big boy is down. The second shot was perfect. Where was that first shot? Oh, no. Oh, God. I think I got the Texas part right, but I didn't get the heart shot. Needed to be a little bit above. Should have aimed right here. Instead, I aimed right there. Not a good, not a good move. He's still a goal. The second shot, though, was pretty good. It went straight through the heart, and he went straight down. He's bigger than the Plains Bison, dude. I didn't know that. Either way, we're good. European Bison off the list. So far, we've got a Cape Buffalo, Plains Bison, Bang Tang, and a European Bison. Only thing left on the list is something we're going to have to go to South America for. The Water Buffalo. The biggest animal in the game. And before we get started on these water buffalo, I want to say, hey, if you guys want to pick up any merch, KendallGrayOutdoors.com, we got t-shirts, KG pocket knives, hats, bunch of cool stuff, and if you want to use promo code KGGAMING, all caps, that's going to get you 10% off whatever you want. So far, we've killed stuff with a bow, with the big, big gun, and even the 4570, but what if I told you for the water buffalo, I'm not even going to take those weapons. Instead, I'm going to take a pistol. And I'm pretty sure I've only got one pistol that's even capable. And that's going to be the 454 hollow point. I don't recommend it. I still don't think it's going to be that effective. But technically, I can kill one with it. So that's what we're going to do. And we're taking the Schnurdenberg. I really hope this isn't a terrible idea. We need to go right down here. And we should find the buffalo. Wish me luck, because I'm probably going to need it. There's some... Um... I found some buffalo. Do you see how big their horns are? And they're gonna come right past me. I think if I get over here and get in a bush, then I can always run out on this peninsula out here for a little bit of safety. No, he's already fleeing? Dude, no way. Wow, he knew I was here. They knew I was here. What about that? They're already calm. That dude's fleeing and this guy's calm. But I think they're heading out. We might be able to get this guy. He don't seem like he's moving, so let's just make a beeline towards him and we'll see how close we can get before he tries to kill us. Wish us luck. Update, the rest of the buffalo have left and they're not coming back around. But for whatever reason, this one has stayed put. And it's a pretty big one, it's a level six. We're just making our way through the water like a stinking Navy SEAL. And we're just gonna pop out of the water. This dude's gonna think we're a duck or something. We're just gonna put one straight. Oh, he's attentive. Dang it, dude. How are you attentive already? Now he's alert. Do we just send one? I highly doubt this thing can, it can side in for 82 yards. I say we send it. Oh well, I'd say we, I say we send it. I think he just went down. We just thinking through five giant bullets, just like, and somehow he died. I wasn't expecting that at all, in the least, but I ain't gonna complain about it, I'll take it. As long as a, a gator don't pop up right here and kill us, by golly, I think we just marked off water buffalo off the list. Oh gosh, oh gosh, get down. A water buffalo coming right towards us. If we stay down, I say we claim this and we shoot that other one. They're walking right in on us, dude. I, I guess that gunfire got them fired up and they're coming looking to kill somebody. I don't know. It's untelling what this next group's gonna try to do to us. May try to kill us or anything. Oh gosh, yeah, there's a big old group, ain't they? Yeah, they don't even know I'm here. We'll see if we can take out Big Red over there. Big Red would be cool. Let's see what we got. A silver. Hit him the first shot in the lump. And the second shot was barely in the flesh. I'm surprised that even happened. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Shoot him, shoot him. Don't waste time, don't waste time. Did we get him? We hit him. Did we miss him? Alright, that's probably all we got. I think that was Big Red, too. I think we hit it. I don't know if we killed it. I'm gonna say the odds are probably not. So, let's just go chase him and find him whenever he pops out of a bush and tries to kill us. If I'd had my gun ready though, he came right in front of me, but he figured me out pretty quick and he started running away, which is a good idea. He went this way though. Let's just track him down. Yeah, we got a blood spot right here. Here, Jamal, you go in front. If you see something, let me know. More blood. So he's hit. This is probably one of the most dangerous things I could possibly be doing. Blindly blood tracking water buffalo through super thick terrain. 
terrible idea. But we got Jamal in front, so if we're lucky, it'll just kill him. He ain't lost hardly any blood, so I'd say we didn't get too good of a shot on him, I know that. We was just throwing up shots and hoping that one hit. We barely got enough for a blood trail. Oh, there goes something. Oh, come on. Oh, God. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Oh, boys, Big Red could be going down. He's losing a little bit of health. I don't know what Jamal thinks he's doing. He better get up here and start tracking. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't tracking this thing. Ain't my job. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Get at your gun, dude, what are you doing? Get at your gun. Oh my goodness. Get out here in the open where we can see what's going on. Now which one of you is the one I shot? There you are. All right, we're done with him. Now we gotta move on to this guy. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back. Shoot! How is this guy not going down? He's not lost a single bit of his health. I got news for him. If he don't go down, I am. Gosh, my, my character's so dumb. He can't, oh. The dude can't reload a pistol. Look how much health I have left. Literally, I get hit once and I'm done for. Daggum, son. What are you on? What kind of drugs are you on? That would have literally probably been a diamond if I hadn't shot him 12 times. He wouldn't die, though. This is the big red that I shot. Hit him first time in the flesh. That don't eat. I literally missed it. What is going on? Second time I got flesh. Barely. Third time, that was right here, right up in front. He just, <laughs> boom, he died. She, whatever. Let's go see this big bad boy. This dude tried to kill me and my dog. How many times did I have to shoot him? That time just barely didn't hit him. That time didn't really hit him. Hit him in the jaw. Hit him in the jaw again. Hit him in the right lung. Then hit him in the right lung again. Jamal, all I gotta say is good job because you did lead us like directly to the buffalo. Click it right here if you want to see me take out a buffalo with nothing but a 22, or right over here for whenever I hunted down every animal in Mexico.